So hey guys, what's up? Here is Nikoi Kani. And today I'm gonna be teaching you how to use Twig Share in After Effects. This tutorial was requested by Honey Beer. Now, firstly, I will explain some basics, and then I will show you how do I do Twig Share. So, what is Twig Share? It is a slow motion plugin. What is it used for? It is used in cinematic videos and edits for slow motion. It also helps in smooth time remapping. Most of the editors use it in every single clip just for time remapping and not making it slow. So is this plugin perfect? Of course not. Just like every other thing in this world. So what is wrong with it? In the clips which have low frame rate like between 23 to 60 and have high movement in the scene, it will produce wraps. Now what is wrap? This. How can we resolve this issue? Since every anime episode is around 23 FPS, so not every clip can be twig shared. So you need to select the clip which have low movement like this. Now there are more ways to resolve this issue like take this clip for an instant. At starting, it has high movement but later it has low movement and can be used as slow motion. So what we need to do is time remap it fast to slow, like this, and this will be the result. For adding texture, first pre-compose your clip with these settings. After that, add texture pro to it. Now follow me. These are my texture settings that I usually use. After that click the stopwatch next to speed, go one frame ahead and change the speed to 10. You can go even lower if you want your clip to be even slower. Now strictly speaking, if you don't use the correct picture settings, then it will produce wraps. And there is no particular settings that can be used on every single clip. But you can use my settings as a base and just only tweak the frame rate not to get wraps. Split the clip from where it starts. Now we cannot directly time remap this layer because we added texture to it. So go ahead and pre-compose this layer with these settings. Now time remap is a topic of high importance on its own. And if I explain too much then you might get confused. So I decided that I would create a separate video for it. And I would resume it from this point only. It would be my next video so you guys don't have to wait long. Thank you guys for the support that you guys have been showing me in past couple of days. If you have any tutorial request or any idea for the content then you can comment it down below. Check out my other tutorials and MVs. If this video helps you then make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. Stay home, stay safe, see you in the next video, Neko signing out.